Me and Mud here are going to be playing a little bit of uh, Risk of Rain Returns. How you doing, Mud? I'm doing pretty well. How are you? I'm all right. What is, uh, as we, well, let's pick some characters and then I want to pick your brain about the game and about how you enjoy it so far. Because I know you've been playing a lot of this, haven't you? I've been trying to play a lot of it. I've been really enjoying it. People have told me that the pilot is pretty good, so why don't we check out the pilot? Who are you going to play? Uh, not the pilot now. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I think we can both get away with playing the pilot. Why don't you Why don't you pick a different character? That way we can have a little bit of uh, variance. Okay, sure. I'm going to play the Artificer. All right, sounds good. Perfect. Because <laughs> I, I still have not played the Artificer, so I want to I still want to see her in action. I know she's got like the ice wall that you don't like. Well, the, the ice wall is it's weird because in the beginning of the game, it serves as a wall. And then later on in the game, it serves as like an ice bomb because it dies so quickly. Right. But everything everything near it you know, suffers from its iciness after the fact. So at the it ends up just being a damage source as opposed to something that actually draws aggro. Yeah. It, it, it just doesn't it doesn't scale very well. Well, I've got the pilot here. Pilot starts with cluster fire, fires a weapon for 95% damage. Every third hit pierces and deals 190% damage. That actually seems very good because it's kind of like having that heaven piercing drill, I think. But I don't know. Yeah, we'll see. The, we'll see that in action. The I like the pilot's uh, secondary better. I think, or I'm sorry, the alternate alternative primary. Well, speaking of secondary, my secondary is shoot diagonally upward for three times 100% damage if airborne shoot downwards. So in theory, I can jump up and then shoot these enemies underneath me. That kind of worked. I also have rapid deployment, launch into the air, stunning enemies and activating a parachute. You combo yep. that into that, that secondary fire thing so you can shoot downwards. And if you just shoot upwards like that, if you want. And then airstrike, dash backwards, leaving a bomb that hits. Can trigger multiple times if airborne, dash upwards and drop a bomb below you. So shift and then R allows you to get a little bit of additional height. Do you have command on? Uh, no. Well, it, it is on. I just thought maybe you had turned it on. I did not turn. You must have had it on on one of your I, I, uh, options. Yeah, that would be it, yeah. <laughs> Want to restart and turn it off so we can have a little bit more vanilla run? Yeah, I think that's a good idea. All right. That's easy enough to do. Come up. Start game. So on X. Nope. Uh, cancel. Rules? No, 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 no. Ah, oh, right. I was playing this game with the controller previously. Let's go back to the controller here. If I plug my controller in, no wonder I wasn't actually doing anything with this. All right. Oh, I do have to invite you. Yes, please. Okay. Artifacts. Artifacts are off for me. Until so I, until I. Oh, now they're on because you voted for it. Gotcha. Well, yeah, I had it left on. My apologies. All right, What's I'm cool? ready again. What's cool and something that I I really like about Risk of Rain Returns here is that we share things. So I have to have the survivor unlocked to play it, but we can play with the artifacts that you have unlocked. Mm -hmm. It's a very, very just nice way of handling like the multiplayer unlocks. I hate to say it, but very much uh, the opposite of Endless Dungeon. <laughs> because yeah, that released that was... with like absolutely no multiplayer unlocking capabilities at all. It was something that they had to add, and even then, even I don't then, know. yeah. So, jump into the air, drop some mines, take some pot shots. It seems relatively handy. Pilot seems to have a lot of air opportunity, and that's kind of something similar with the uh, with the old artificer. The new art mm -hmm. artificer has a lot less air times, doesn't she? 
Yeah. Somehow she lost her jetpack in between Risk of Rain 1 and 2. Well, this or takes place gained, beforehand. Gained, excuse, yeah, well, I mean, it didn't come out in that order, so my brain... <laughs> <laughs> I went down here and I picked up the weird uh, gem that's in the bottom left corner of the map. I don't know if you've picked this up yet. I don't believe so. Well, left of where we spawned, there's a, a blue root, and you can just take that down. Oh, no, I've definitely not seen that before. Oh, that's really cool that this mine just stays forever. It just keeps blowing up repeatedly. That's awesome. Maybe not forever, but it lasted quite a while. It's a nice combination to put together when you launch them in the air and then you do your uh, your angled attack. Right. Or just drop some mines down below them. Okay. In my head, I want to I wanna compare pilot to captain, but that's probably not the right comparison to make. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't think so. I, in my head, I'm just like, oh, well, they both, uh, you know, are officers on a ship, right? <laughs> <laughs> Clearly, that means they're the same. It must be. There's another blue route here, and indeed, we can just climb down it. I don't know what secrets are in this one, though. By the way, I haven't said it, but Blexmer, hello, welcome, thank you for the resub. Huntress, Huntress with alt boomerang mag clips and the rocket is hilarious. Artifact throwing of honor. Throwing an MTG, too. Or ATG. Mm-hmm. Throw Letter. in some Magic the Gathering. <laughs> I can't wait to actually play the artificer though cuz I don't know I don't know if I'm going to like it but it does seem like a fun character and at the very least people have opinions regarding her. Yeah, not I, I I've seen a lot of a lot of chatter online about how much people dislike her. <laughs> well, oh, there's nothing in there. No secrets. Tiny says there's a challenge tied to killing enemies after knocking them airborne with the airstrike. 30. Can you aim the... Uh, can you aim the... What is this thing called? Hold on. Can you aim know. the target acquired upwards? Oh yeah, shoot diagonally upwards. Duh. <laughs> That's just what it does. It just shoots upwards. Okay. So, yeah, if... If you uh, if you're standing on a lower level like you are from me, you'll you'll aim you'll aim upward like as long as they're not horizontal from you like directly you'll you'll aim in their direction. It, it's it really nice. It also seems like it launches them into the air too, which is nice. It does, and when you're in the air, it it pushes you up further. You know, I've been playing a lot of melee recently, so I feel like just having a character that has a gun is pretty okay. I could have gotten up there if I wanted to. I just didn't want to. Yeah, I mean, a choice. It's really great. I take it that was probably you. Um... I, it was a combination. The pilot's <laughs> upward attack. The pilot's upward attack does quite a bit of damage, but uh, I was able to also ignite them. So uh, I'm going to go with combination of the two of us. When you say upward attack, you mean his his second ability, right? Oh, I clicked off the screen. Yes. Okay. Hmm. I'm getting some gunner drones. Do you want the drones or what? Oh, I don't care. I wouldn't mind it. Maybe a healing drone or three. Ta -da. I do like that the um, attack of his knocks enemies into the air. <laughs> yes.
All right. Look, I didn't ask you if you wanted this, but I did just take an item. I like it. Oh, you! I can also shoot through walls. Yes. That's very interesting. Seems like a kind of an interesting character here. He's got piercing attacks, which is really nice to have. I can jump incredibly high. <laughs> There's an equipment item uh, over to the top right for you. I'm not, I'm not gonna walk that distance. Ready to go? Nope. Okay. Okay, now I'm ready. Delmkin says, so far this is the only character who can shoot at angles. I guess if you have like, the Artificer Chakrams, or maybe the, the Hunter Glaive, you can shoot kind of at an angle, but I guess not really. Well, with the Chakram, you just throw it forward. You have to rely on it coming back to you to get any kind of angles worked in. Yeah. Man, the pilot seems really good. Chef can shoot at an angle, I'm being told. Oh, okay. That makes sense. I haven't unlocked Chef yet. I also have not unlocked Chef, but that's because it is... It's very specifically get specific sets of items. Mm -hmm. I do like piercing though. Anytime a character has piercing, I'm probably going to be happy with that. Speaking of that sniper with birds. Yeah, the sniper was very annoying with that. Any level that has a whole bunch of aerial enemies. Unless you're the pilot. Let's do the pilot, because the pilot can actually hit him, which is really nice. Ugh. Please don't kill me. I'm thinking the same thing. <gasps> well, fair enough. like his mines because it seems like the mines are just reusable on the same cast. They just keep blowing up. They're nice, uh they're a nice tool to keep you in the air for just a touch longer mm -hmm. too. You have a microwave item. <laughs> you have a lot of items I haven't seen yet. Now, is that because my unlocks are carried in too? Even, even the items? Yeah, so I think that we could play with artifacts that you have unlocked, but we can also play with items that you have unlocked. And I can just unlock them through this session. Interesting. I'm ready when you are. I'm ready, yes. I was aware of the artifacts, but I thought that I'd have to be the host in order for you to have access to what I've unlocked. That's why I think that this game has uh, has done a good job with the, the multiplayer unlocks and stuff. Mm -hmm. That is pretty cool. Because, yeah, yesterday when I was playing with Zerg, I was, I was getting items before I had unlocked them.
So now I'm curious if I can actually jump up here. Uh, I can, but there's no reason to, unfortunately. It's not the fence? Not the fence level. I've yet to go there. And I've yet to go there, but I've only just started playing this game. Would you like me to start the teleporter? Why don't we take a second first? I, I'd love sure. to find more of those, like, Shrines of the Mountain. Okay. Because those disable when we hit the teleporter, right? Yeah, they do. I wasn't expecting there to be three on the last map. I did hit one, <laughs> but... Oh, you could probably get this over here if you haven't already. There's a, uh, uh, like a artifact shard, I believe. Yeah, I think, I think you would have to do all of those in the same run. Because I think I've definitely picked this one up before. Ah, uh, okay. I don't remember how to get to it, though. But I, I would like to, at some point, actually get all of these unlocked, but... Oh, yeah. I'm so happy. Photon jetpack. That's like just a uh, better rusty jetpack, right? Well, yeah, but now I can fly as the Artificer, like it should be. Ah. Oh, only one more to go to unlock this. So I guess it I guess it does carry over between runs. It's very interesting. Yep. That was how I remembered it, but I I wasn't sure. Maybe uh maybe it was because we were in multiplayer or something and uh, it didn't quite work exactly as intended. Yeah, Zerg's right. It was Gold Gun. I was picking it up before I had unlocked it, I suppose. Oh God! I'm okay. Oh, I'm not okay, I died. I'm gonna go ahead and hit that teleporter then. My uh, gold bomb gave you a bunch of gold though. Nice, I love gold. I guess I'm gonna go up and help you. I just got, uh, I just got freaking punched by an elite golem and then I got sniped by a rocket. It was no, exceptionally rude. I hate the rocket elites, man. <laughs> I'm helping. I'm helping. If you want to grab those items, too. I forgot that that was even a thing. Yeah, you just you just can't open chests it seems. And and then I think there are also some some logs that you can't pick up or you know something something kind of quirky mm -hmm. because Tony says I can deal with rockets but overloading enemies make your life miserable. There, I guess yeah, the rockets you can dodge, but I think the rockets do more damage. That's my naive thought. Oops. I would sure like this better if they stopped coming after me like this. Well, you can leave now. Oh. Did you grab your items? Yes, just go. Go! Live! Now nah, you'll be fine. You seem to be getting a lot of, uh, a lot of barrier. Yeah, is that, the, uh, is that the television item? Yeah, the locked jewel. Whenever you activate something, it gives you it gives you X amount of barrier. Oh, like chests and stuff. Yep. That seems pretty good. So, Mud, what are your uh, your overall thoughts on Risk of Rain Returns? 
I really like it a lot. I wish that I was better at it though. <laughs> <laughs> I you found play... my yeah. I, I found myself tweaking the rules a bit so that I did more damage and took less damage because I wanted to feel what it was like to succeed in a run. <laughs> <laughs> did you play the original game? I, I did, but not quite as much as uh, as like I played in Risk Rain Two. Right. Uh, I, I did more viewing of the original. Um. So I think uh, I think that. There's going to be a lot of time spent trying to get better at this. Right. Well, overall, I think it's a, a fantastic sequel. I guess. Sequel? Sequel. Risk of Rain 1, 2. Risk of Rain 1, 2. The sequel to Risk of Rain 1. Exactly. Well, that bomb didn't do anything. I do like that uh, the aerial attack that the pilot has is kind of auto-aiming. Yeah. You don't have to actually aim it, and that's very handy. And, and they only have to be slightly above you for it to, to auto-aim. Even, even taller enemies, it will auto-aim to, towards them. Mm. Do you want uh, me to hit the teleporter? Nice. If you're ready, yeah. Oh my god. Oh, I'm dead! God dang it. Oh, they're below us. How'd this game get so hard all of a sudden? <laughs> Uh, the legend, welcome. How are you doing today? And Tamanda as well. I didn't say hi, but hi. How are you doing? I should probably go help you deal with big old, big old beasts. I wouldn't be against it. Well, I have just been uh, pretty much completely useless so far. Well, it's your first time playing the character, right? I think it's also just hard because I feel like I'm just getting uh, overwhelmed. You know, everything's fast. These uh, these flying bird enemies, they just they just, they're relentless. Legend says, you'll never guess what game is getting a roguelike edition. Uh, Modern Warfare? <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> I mean, hey, it did get a Battle Royale. Okay. You are so fast. I. It's just because of the whip. I'm exceptionally slow without it. But I guess that's the same speed as you are. I will take one, you can take one. That way we're even. Ow! Goodness! Come here. Guess what I really need to do is just use my abilities better and then also just run more. Never stop moving. the one thing consist consistent between all three titles. Yeah. Ow! I suppose getting some sort of, like, healing item would be nice as well.
Last of Us 2 is getting a roguelike mode. You know, I can I can see that because that's like, how far can you get without dying? That's at least like a semi-interesting, you know, type of a roguelite mode. Although, is it really roguelite? Yeah, is there unlocks? <laughs> like a meta progression? Meta exactly. Like, I guess that sounds strange. Is that like a hardcore for the the roguelite genre? Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh my god! Ugh. Oh come on! What is he? I don't I can't even tell what's killing me! God damn it! <laughs> oh, I think it was just weird horizontal bullets from these plants. Or maybe pilot's just not my style. Or maybe I'm just playing very poorly. That would also be good. A good a good excuse, a good reason. There's an item on that platform you're on. It's to the far left. Ah, uh, just, just grab it. I already walked away from it. Teleporter should be at the bottom right. But feel free to grab loot. You gotta, you gotta carry us on this run. I will do my best. Pew, 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 pew. Uh. I guess I really don't have any sort of like healing items. Well, it's that. I've got the monster tooth. I'm just not killing things fast enough. I I don't need it. Okay. You grab it. I'm curious how that works on the artificer, but I'm also curious about the artificer themselves since I haven't played them yet. <laughs> oh my <laughs> Engaging gameplay, I know. <laughs> it's okay, if you can't do it, uh, in like two hours I'll probably be able to kill the boss. I'll do my best then. <laughs> <laughs> You know, at the very least, I can pull aggro, and then they can just jump off. A lot of enemies can just jump off the pit and then die. That works, too. Come on. Oh, my God. my own game going on here. <laughs> Just trying to deal with these weird... I don't know, what are these bugs? I guess I don't know the names of all the enemies. This is what that one trial, that uh, target practice trial, trained you for. This moment right here. Archer bugs. Those freaking archer bugs. And their damn turtlenecks. We did it. 
Good job, team. <laughs> Yay. Are we going to the last level or are we looping? Yeah, you know what? Uh, survivor decision. <laughs> Why do you gotta put this on me? <laughs> Thank you, game. It just says sucks to suck in the middle of the screen. But yeah, I think I saw you use that item once and it gives you like a weird yellow uh, triangle that just kind of flies into you and that is the barrier that you pick up. Right. Okay, well that's half my health gone. Okay, that's the rest of my health gone. Holy crap. Oh, I clicked off my screen. Why is that a thing? Slightly increases attack speed and movement speed. I remember that item. And that is rough. This is health, right? I will take it. I will take anything that gives me health at this point. I didn't like that at all. I am just getting hit by everything today. It's probably just me being a little bit rusty, but I feel like I just can't dodge anything. It really doesn't take much, though, either. That's the thing. You get hit really hard. Picking up the key cards make it harder? Or do you mean because he might die? What's that? Maybe that's what you're uh, Zerg's comment about you picking up the key cards. Oh, because I think when I die, <laughs> when? If I die, <laughs> hopefully, um, you won't have them, so you can't open up the doorways. I understand. But hopefully that just, you know, is not a concern. Actually, another backup mag. A backup mag seems pretty good. Well, I just ran away from my bomb. Not smart. Even most of the enemies seem faster than me right now. I think a big problem with the run that I have right now is that I just have absolutely no healing. Well, I, if I kill something, I heal, but that doesn't happen that often right now. That hurt. I'm dead. Oh, I'm... I'm... Gotta love the overloading guys. They're, they're pretty cool. <laughs> This is this is a terrible run for me. <laughs> this is a terrible showing. I apologize. I 
feel like I have no idea what killed me. Yeah, I want to go look at the Artificer in action. That's a pretty fun little electrical orb you threw out there. I don't know what it was. Yeah, but it's like a mini game too. You have to you have to tap fire it as it's going across, otherwise it oh yeah, that's up. Otherwise it stops. Interesting. The alternative though is the lightning ball, which has a drop off and, and it needs to be charged. So mm -hmm. I'd rather be able to shoot straight than okay, That's like go. the that's like the Risk of Rain 2 electro charge ball, right? Yeah. Ow. Ow. Oh! Time stop! I'm fine. This is fine. <laughs> Everybody's fine. The overloading guys are such bullshit. <laughs> oh, there's another one. Oh, and I clicked off my screen. I hate this game. <laughs> it's so easy to click off your screen. I thought you were gonna say, it's such an easy game. Oh, it's just so easy to click off your screen. If I play in full screen, it's, I think because I'm on a 2K monitor, it looks very weird. Mm -hmm. That was a great run. Great run, great run. Oh, Lord. That was terrible. <laughs> well, hey, if you want to play the pilot, I can play the Artificer now. Oh, thanks. Oh. Toss out a shock room for 45% damage, hits up to five times at its peak, and then ignites. Charges up and launches an electric bomb. Creates a wall of ice that blocks enemies and distracts them. And then it explodes for 100% damage. And Flamethrower burns in front of you and ignites enemies. My understanding is that the Flamethrower is suicidal, but who knows? You can cancel though. So if you're you stuck cancel. in the flame, yeah. Um, I think the key to the flamethrower though is to use it while you're elevated enough that things aren't gonna hit you. The only thing you'll have to worry about are, are you know, are gonna be the ranged guys, like uh, the overloading or missiles. All right, you good to go? I am. I guess you've already readied up. I did. So we're on we're on rainstorm. No artifacts on. I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to learn artificer as we go. So we have so just like at Risk of Rain two, you do have four charges of your your spinning chakrams, and then as soon as they come back to you, you can fire them again. Okay. It does feel weird that she doesn't have a jetpack anymore. Right. It doesn't make sense. When when you die, you're frozen, like you're found in Risk of Rain 2. Where'd she get the jetpack? <laughs> this is an important feels... lore question. Well, it feels like it, it feels like they were like, oh, let's make this cool pilot character that can do this cool thing. Like, well, we already do that with Artificer. We'll take it away from her then. <laughs> well, maybe uh, maybe it's a different Artificer. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I don't we're know. Gonna just, we're just going to make stuff up as we go. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. So you want to lure enemies with the ice wall and then smack them. Yes, and I've learned that with the ice wall, it's not that the enemies ignore it, it's that if they don't if they don't run into it or you know are not walking towards it, then they will ignore it. So you can draw them into it. Mm -hmm. But it's still I find it still to be kind of frustrating how it doesn't scale with you. 
uh, in the into the higher levels. Yeah, because they just they just walk past it and then it's not doing anything. Mm -hmm. Or they kill it immediately. They all get some kind of freeze damage, and then they unfreeze and you die anyway. It just <laughs> seems it seems silly. It seems silly, but Risk of Rain is just hard. It's just a hard game. It's hard and everything wants to kill you. Very true. I, I don't know where that went. It also seems like those flame chakrams don't really do that much damage. They do not. And just think, not that long ago, they didn't do damage until they did their the spinning portion of their attack. Yeah, Before they didn't they didn't do damage on the way out or on the way back, right? No. Like it it just it was really awful. And now it's only kind of awful. How do you cancel the flamethrower? Either with your right click. Mm hmm <laughs> Oh, or the ice Bless. Thank you. Excuse me. Grants massive life on hit for 10 seconds. At least the burn is is seems okay. The burn does put in work. Especially with the flamethrower. It stacks the burn nicely. But you are very slow while that is going off. You need very some speed ups. Slow. And, and, and I think the uh, the uh, hurt box from the flame also is your sprite as well because you'll notice there's you're you're kind of encircled by the flame so I think it it's not just what's what's coming out in front of you. Yeah, it does seem like I can just stand in an enemy and then it still hurts them. Mm -hmm. Do you want me to hit the teleporter? Yes, please. I just see your bullets rain down from all the way over there. Okay, yeah, it, de it definitely seems like that. Uh, what Ooh, is nice. this? Reduce the cooldown. Good... What is this? I just accidentally picked up two items. I'm sorry. You greedy, greedy. No, I'm good. <laughs> Alien head, that's really good to get, though. It in seems any, like, uh, of the game. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's just lower cooldowns for everything. Unfortunately, though, no, uh, no you know, flame shots that have lower cooldown. Like what you you used to do in Risk of Rain 2, which is you go for um, purity. Mm -hmm. And then you can just fire the flame shots infinitely. Yeah, that was pretty nice. It seems like the, uh, the flamethrower was very good against Magma Worm. of souls. I have not had that one yet either. Yeah, the EOE the area of effect nature of that flamethrower means it's pretty good on the on the magma worm. I'm curious. Oh, <gasps> challenge complete. We did nice it. job. Mud, we what did it. We, we got the, we, I unlocked the weird jetpack thing that you were talking about. Oh, nice. There was no, no enemies were left alive. That's awesome. Yeah, I did that. I did that accidentally uh, on, on a run previously. I thought that was going to be a, a really difficult one to get. Are you good to go? I, well, I mean, I'm ready. All right. I don't know. I, I feel like I can definitely understand how the artificer is hard or maybe not as good as she has been in the in Risk of Rain 2. But also, I haven't died with her yet, so what do I know? Yeah, you did. Well, I don't know if that's a great thing to go by because you died with one of the better characters and you haven't <laughs> died with 
the arguably like the least least enjoyable character to play with. <laughs> I'm just I say that, but I I I bounce between pilot and artificer in gameplay. So. <laughs> Oh, and I clicked off my screen again. That is really cool. How how did you go to the left side of the map? What do you mean? You went right at the beginning. Oh, yeah. I flew above you. I have a parachute, man. Oh, my God. Lexburn chat says, I did a two-hour Huntress run with 19 Cyclone boomerangs being on screen at most times. Oh, that is a lot of fun. Just where dragging it, around. That's the, uh, that's her her alt ability where it uh, it follows you around, right? Mm hmm So you just you want to avoid picking it up. Yeah, which which is surprisingly not that difficult. Uh, between teleporting and just like a light jump over it is all you need to do. Just the the problem I have with the the, the laser glaive thing or whatever it's called is if I'm running forward and I throw it, but the enemy's right in front of me, sometimes I'll pick it up as soon as it leaves me. Mm -hmm. Okay, Mud, can you explain something to me again? I can try. How do you stop the flamethrower? Oh, you have to use an ability, uh, either the lightning ball or or the ice wall, to cancel it. Ah! If, the, if there is another way, I'm not aware of it. Okay. Thank you. Sweetly. Ow! I wonder at what point exactly the enemies stop paying attention to the ice wall, because currently they're still paying attention to it. Well, that, that's what I mean. If, if you drag them into it, they'll they'll acknowledge it. They won't... Oh, I just fell. That sucked. Um, and it works, but it gets to a point like the birds won't bother with it. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, because it's not... It's almost as if... It, it's almost as if uh, in order to get their attention, they have to touch it, mm -hmm. which seems kind of... Like, they're prioritized on the player, but if push comes to shove, they'll pay attention to it. Mm -hmm. Where's the artifact of spite? Probably right here. Yep, this jumping puzzle. I'm, I'm accidentally doing the jumping puzzle. Yeah, I fell down there and I wasn't too happy about it, but I grabbed the <laughs> artifact. Okay, I'm, I'm starting to figure it out. <clears throat> no Woo Gaming, welcome. Never played Risk of Rain before the map's randomly generated. There are variants to the maps, but they are all static. But there are six variants per map, so you're not getting literally the same map every time. That is a, that's more variance than we're in the first game. Find the teleporter. I have been game. There's a shrine up there. I just can't access it. And the teleporter's up there too. Oh my God, you're so fast. Yeah, I am. Yeah, yeah, man. <laughs> so fast, man! All right, let's ding dong. How are you shooting so fast? That's the alt fire. Um, ah. the primary. It doesn't have a. It doesn't necessarily have a limited range. I I've noticed that it's not as accurate. So it it can shoot the ground maybe or mm -hmm. oh. I'd like this a lot better if I weren't in the middle of it. Why is this dead worm still going? You know, I was wondering the same thing.
I do like just being able to, well, ideally just flamethrower and then just run through the enemies. Yeah, or float through at a snail's pace through the enemies. <laughs> I, either either one, though, works. Unfortunately, if you can hit them, they can pretty much hit you. Yeah. That being said, <laughs> I'm definitely living longer than I was with the pilot. <laughs> it was just a warm-up run. Yeah, warm-up run. I had to remember how to play the game, right? Yeah, exactly. Are you ready to go? Uh, yeah. All right. Dun, 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 dun. I feel like I need to go to the highest place of each stage at the beginning and then... Float down? Yeah, just traverse it that way. I mean, I guess that's what I would, would do if I was playing the jetpack Artificer, <laughs> as opposed to current Artificer. They really did her dirty. I guess her whole thing in Risk of Rain was, in Risk of Rain 2, was that she could fly, so they could have still had her be the flying character. Yeah, two and, flying characters isn't such a bad thing, I don't think. Yeah, and then the pilot could have still done flame th or a uh, parachute. Okay, so there's there's that again. That was neat. Hold on. Oh, that sucked. I want to pick this up again just in case it'll activate. There's a, a shield here. Oh, you already have one. Right here. Oh. Find one more to unlock. Yeah, it doesn't unlock. Unfortunately. You know, I think you're right. I think if the enemies pass through it, they're way more likely to interact with the ice wall. Mm -hmm. But if it's there, it's just like they don't they don't really care. Mm -hmm. Ow. Helps if I can also aim my shots correctly. have to get into the habit of being able to cancel my flamethrower. I'm not good at that quite yet. What'll, what'll really get you is when you need to cancel it and everything's on cooldown. <laughs> you'll, you'll think that you can cancel it and you're like, oh crap, what happened? Mm -hmm. That's what I'm worried about. Of course, it's the ice stage, which is just very difficult to get around in. Ooh. Wicked ring. That is really good with some backup mags and some glasses. What is wicked ring? It 
reduces your cooldown by one for critical strike. And my my right click can like recharge itself if I have enough if I have enough crit going. Gotcha. And I can just juggle things in the air for so long periods of time. It's kinda nice. Connie, did you will that into existence? <laughs> Thank you. Just get wicked ring and wicked ring and never have cooldowns again. Oh, so oh, I get it. So one of your alternate skills gives you crits, or something, right? No, it's just that you fire so much with with one with one press of the button that if you get multiple critical strikes. If multiple critical strikes succeed with the attack, it just recharges itself. Gotcha. Okay. I understand now. Do you want me to hit the teleporter? Yeah. Uh, yes, please. All right. I can do that. Right, 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 right. Cool downs, cool downs, cool downs, cool downs. Wrong button. Okay. Oh, I was trying to figure out where the ghosts came from on the last stage. Me! It was me! I keep, uh, I keep accidentally picking up items, but it's all good items. So, so it's justified? No, I feel like I need to save some for you. But they're good, so don't. <laughs> <laughs> it's more like I just, I'm not paying enough attention to what's happening around me. Oh, I understand. I'm just messing with you, I'm good. <laughs> okay. You have to, you have to let me get strong because uh, you're better at this game than I am right now. I don't know if that's true. We only had one run, and I didn't. <laughs> see, I didn't even succeed in that run. So. <laughs> oh, I see, I see how it is. Oh, we find a boss down here. Oh yeah, crazy. <gasps> Are you good to go? I am. Oh, if. If only we could combine drones to get three identical drones. With our drones combined, that would be a lot cooler. When your powers combine, <laughs> I am a golden drone. Have you got all the buttons on this stage? No, but I'm probably going to try if I find okay. them. Okay. I clicked off the screen. I swear. Honestly, that's one of the reasons why I started playing with the controller. Definitely something to consider. There is a log there, there that I, I don't know how to get to. Uh, Dude, do not like come me? this direction. It's just lava. Here we go. It's just lava, lava everywhere. Username welcome. Jar of Soul Souls is just amazing in general. It was amazing in Risk of Rain original, and I'm hoping that it's still amazing in Returns. Poor man, happiest mask. Yep. You'd think that the Artificer would not mind the fire. You'd think, with fire literally coming out of her gauntlets, but... And surrounding her on attack. Hey, I got my own ceremonial dagger. No. What? I fell in the lava and I can't get out. What'd you parachute burn? 
Well, I used it, but I was there was a platform above me, so it just it just canceled it as soon as I touched the platform. <laughs> I had to like soak in the lava for a little bit before I could try to escape again. Have you done the achievement of survive one minute in lava? I have not. It seems like it would be hard to find the item combination to survive that. I, I don't know if this is accurate or just, uh, you know, my false perception of things, but mm -hmm. it seems like the lava does a lot more damage in returns than it does than it did in the original. But I haven't done like a hard comparison, so I, I right. don't know. It, I, I, I think I would feel the same way, but I, d I don't really remember that much the, about the original. It was a long time ago. Well, there is a button on the stage, but I cannot access it, so that'll be for another day. realizing that if you can get your jump correct, you can be above the enemies and they can't hit you. Correct. And, and with the, the flamethrower, it's kind of nice because then you can just force yourself to hover above them while they're still in your... Mm -hmm. in your uh, damage. Depends on if fungus can heal through it. Fungus cannot heal you when you're burning, unfortunately. I think that... Um, Evading would work, you know, a chance mm. to evade attacks, and uh, then the probably, start. yeah, probably also, um, you know, the teddy bear take less damage. Well, that's a good point, too. Yeah, how do I not have enough money for this? No! Uh, command 50 teddy bears. Yeah, command, because you can pick and choose your pickups, you'll probably run that a lot when you're trying to get like specific achievements on unlocks. Surprisingly, I can't hit your button. Um... <laughs> Fuck you. you. <laughs> I sh I, well, like with the pilot, you can you can shoot through walls. It is. Gotcha. But yeah. I, I can't I can't find the angle. I wonder if the the flamethrower would be able to. I would assume so. Probably. Uh, do you want me to hit the teleporter? Uh, yeah. That would be really nice. Well, they are here, and I can probably take care of them after some time. Oh wow! I just saw I just saw a bunch of wisps fall. Oh, oh what the heck happened there? Wow. Okay, this this there's an elite talk frenzied toxic beast is just fast. I don't know what's happening anymore. What is happening? I don't know. Oh, I, I used Dio. That's what it was. Oh, you died. Oh, no. I died. That would explain it. Ow. It didn't count, though, so I'm still uh, deathless. Yeah, it doesn't count. Doesn't count. works 
Yep, so the flamethrower can hit the button, but it doesn't matter because I still can't do anything about it or do anything with the other one, I should say. There's three total. Yeah, well, I think one of them is like down a pit. Are you ready to go? I think so. Okay, I'm gonna hit the button. Do it. Tiny says, I thought you needed sniper's quick scope for those. No, there's usually a couple of different ways to activate these secrets. The screen shake going on. Yeah, I, I am tempted maybe to reduce the screen shake. I think I already reduced it a little bit. He jumped over it because of your bomb! Hand worked for me. Oh, Handy? I haven't tried Handy. Well, no, I, I I actually had a pretty good run, run with Handy, if I remember correctly. Why is there like a weird orb drone next to the teleporter all the time? That is an item. It is the... But there's an, There should be an item in, in one of our... Oh, it's mine. It's the uh, Mu Mu construct. It heals periodically after activating the teleporter. Gotcha. Now, does it only heal you, or does it heal me as well? It should heal both of us. It's, I, I believe so, at least. Well, that's just handy. Man, I missed a Tesla coil. Running. I do really like making ghosts. Ghosts are good. Dude, I know it's not everyone's favorite, but I do feel like I've been okay with the Artificer so far. this equipment has a chance to have double effect it's your equipment heal oh this is the cooldown of equipment that's a different thing never mind I had the wrong item Gunner drone. One of the good things about being able to float with this flamethrower, though, is that a lot of enemies can't hit up. <laughs> they can only hit on the ground. Right. So if you, if you can activate it in a in a safe place, it's it's nice. And then and then the extremely tall bosses, which is you know kind of feels like all of them. Mm -hmm. Um. If you just, you know, hover it at about their their mid height, kind of kind of makes it nice. That's why I like the photon jetpack with her because 
<laughs> I mean, she does what she should be doing, flying. Right. button. It does seem like uh, even enemies that can't hit you when you're in the air, they, sorry, enemies that can normally just hit you when you're on the ground, they still can hit your drones when they're in the air. So even though I'm yeah. like flamethrowered and just kind of hovering, my my mm -hmm. turrets are still dying. Yeah, the the way the drones work is kind of confusing to me. Like it, it does seem that way. Like their hitboxes are are much larger than what they actually mm -hmm. are, maybe or. trying to get enough health to play this shrine again. Artificer, Art Artificer might be spending a lot of money repairing her turrets over the course of her run. Yeah, I lost all mine. Oh yeah, I can combine turrets. Wasn't there a combiner around here? Uh, there's a, uh, recycler. Cyclore. User name says, I had a, a good run that, on Monsoon that made it here and then died to all the hornets. Yeah. Ow! I'll just spawn on me again. Hopefully that'll help deal with them a little bit. Oh, there you go. No, well, maybe not. Now I gotta save up more HP to use that. <laughs> Temple maybe always has a combiner. Feels guaranteed to have one. It's actually pretty smart, so that if you stockpile a lot of drones, you can still get rid of them. Let's uh, take a look then. I don't remember seeing one, but I might just be dumb. like a backup man. Me too. That's not what I gave you. Oh. What is this? Cut off the head of the snake and the body lives on. You get a familiar friend, don't you, on this one? Yes. Well, hopefully uh, the enemies want to attack him instead of me. And by him, you mean you're familiar, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> just, I'm just double checking, you know? I, I want to make sure we're on the same page. Oh! The birds hit so hard. Yeah, they really do. I know, just for dodge forehead, but Jesus. For what it's worth, when they start their attack, they've already chosen their destination. Yeah. Which, I mean, that sounds like, oh, that should be easy then. No, because there's usually 15 other enemies on the screen at the same time, so. Yeah. I died. God dang it. Ow. Yeah, because they, they still do damage on the way down. Mm-hmm. Oh. You can't jump out of the way of them. Please, please, 
I don't. Parachute. Ah! That helped. Hurt so much. Maybe I can lure some of the enemies away from you for a while. Well, uh, good luck on the teleporter. Thanks. <laughs> I'm sure it'll be fine. Really wanted to get those drones, but that's okay. <clears throat> It'd be funny if you could sacrifice your drone to the drone collector. Then everyone would be doing it. Oh, wow. It would be the meta. There's a lot of these little bastards. Yeah, they've been following me around for a while. I'm, I'm trying to just, like, pull them away. Jesus, there are so many of them. Gotten him. <laughs> There's like eight stacks on top of each other. There's like 15. All shooting at the exact same moment when they get into range. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, wow, you did so much damage. Wow, what? I didn't realize that that was a thing. <laughs> you can knock bosses off. That's stupid. There went my, there went our item. Well, yep. Yeah. I get, could you do that in Risk of Rain 2? Yeah, it was a, it was one of the, it was the way to unlock uh, the, the plant boy. One of his abilities was to boop someone off the side. Oh, yeah. Oh, they got me. Oh. Yeah, yeah, that's that's all. Oh, God. what the fuck? <laughs> there was so many. They're all going to die now. That's that's all of the ones that were chasing me around the entire time. There were so many! <laughs> Freaking heck, man. Oh, I was, I was feeling pretty confident, too. And then <laughs> I saw the legion of, of, of archer bugs. You killed the boss, you could hit the teleporter and ran. The boss was still alive. No, I thought he, I thought you killed him. No, I'm watching this. I'm watching the stream right now. It was still <laughs> <Okay>. alive. <laughs> well, I got a couple of unlocks off of that one. Beautiful. Nice.